Learn to program with Minecraft plugins. Create flying creepers and flaming cows in Java. Hi, I'm Andy Hunt. Let's see how easy it is to create plugins in Java. First, we'll go to the desktop where I've downloaded all the code that comes with the book. One of the very first plugins that we look at is called Build a House. Here are the files that make it up. We've got some various directories and a build script and a buildahouse.java and myhouse.java. So the very first thing we're going to do is go in and use this build a house function that's listed here, but we have to tell it how big a house we want. So we get to declare some variables. Uh, we'll make a house that's five wide and five high. That seems like that should be a good size. We'll save that file off, then go back up over here and build the plugin using the build script that comes with it. And voila, we've got a plugin. Now we can go over here, start up the Minecraft server and go into the game itself. And let's take a look around. Oh, this looks like a nice spot for a house, a nice, nice view, nice little flat piece of land. We'll type the build a house command and bang, there's our nice creeper proof house. Let's open the door with a right click, and go out and take a look around. OK, it's not that great a house, but you know what? It's a good start. And that was one of the simpler plugins. Here's one that's much more complicated. This is the flaming cow shooter where with a piece of leather in your hand as a sort of magic wand, you can wave it and shoot flaming cows at the target of your choice. Here's the code for it. Now this is one of the more complicated ones, so don't panic yet. We check if you're clicking on a block or clicking on air. We make sure that you've got a piece of leather in your hand. We go ahead and spawn a cow, set it on fire, and then we start a separate piece of code running as a task in the background. This little lump of code sits here and runs as long as the cow is in the air. We check to see if it's on the ground, blow it up if he is. Otherwise, we reset the cow on fire and bump his health up. Looks complicated? Don't worry. We've got gray shaded boxes to show you exactly what to type and even arrows in the code to show you exactly where to type it. We'll use arrays in Java to make towers of blocks. We'll put strings on signs. We'll learn how to debug using cows, both kinds. Don't worry. It wasn't a real cow. We'll look at Windows and Mac firewalls and how to set up remote access and a ton of other fun topics, including how to use the Git version control system and how to make your own cloud server. Wow, could I really learn all this? Absolutely. You've even got a progress bar that goes from dirt to grass to show your skills through the book. So head over to pragprog.com today and grab your copy. Learn to program with Minecraft plugins. Thank you.